All right, I'm ready for the act, man. Picture this. You are one of 2,100 people who've been working diligently for five years, developing a highly anticipated sequel to a video game most mm. would consider to be one of the greatest of all time. Last for five of years, you've poured blood, sweat, and tears into your work, hoping mm. to make a sequel that's worthy in the eyes of your fans. You are driven by passion, but the fear of disappointing your audience convinces you to make sacrifices most people shouldn't. The hours okay. you work have become unsustainable, detrimental to your health. And yet you are so close to the finish line, you can almost taste victory. That mm -hmm. vacation you so desperately need and the payoff you deserve for the years you slaved away in pursuit of something greater than yourself. And then one day, this image appears online. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played Last of Us, but <laughs> I have seen this image before. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck is that? And somehow this becomes a permanent part of your legacy. Oh, What's up, no. everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today I want to ask. What happens when video games get leaked? Well, at best, nobody believes the leak until the game actually comes out. And as we used to say on a basketball court, no blood, no foul. At worst, True. if you somehow manage to conjure the perfect storm of ingredients like Naughty Dog, then potentially you miss out on millions of dollars and thousands of man hours will forever be tainted oh. by said leak. I genuinely I can't think of any other meme template that has as many edits as the four horsemen of the meme apocalypse. Sorry, Link. Man has always pursued secret knowledge and sought to share it with so the world. Good, man. But like Icarus, sometimes man burns himself getting too close to the forbidden fruit or forbidden sun. I mean, whatever, you get the analogy. Um... Sometimes leakers are just people super passionate about the game and they want to play it early for themselves. And... Or they're leakers who do it for attention. I can't imagine having my crap leaked, man. I, I'm getting a new model, right? And I'm really scared of like... I think Shy Lily almost accidentally leaked her new model. X almost, almost. Or to Warren Gamers? Yeah, I mean, it depends, but still. I feel like it's just a little bit scummy because people do work on stuff and they just work on it because it's their job. You know what I mean? It sucks. I would not want that to happen on Tuesday. Yeah, I, I, I think I watched it happen. Like, not watched it, but she was talking about it. That sucks when it's an unintentional leak. And other times, leakers will hold the source code of a game hostage and no, demand it is a, a big fucking deal. ransom. I don't fully understand how exactly games get leaked, but like most people, I imagine the process looks something like. Yo, it's a Russian hacker. So much hard base. It's hard to measure bam, how much bam, financial bam, bam. damage is caused by the premature release of something. It can be astronomical or have literally no effect. And this is why we have certain laws and regulations in place. Like mm -hmm. when companies want content creators or news outlets to reveal certain parts of an upcoming game, they make us sign NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. I signed an NDA way back when I got an early copy of Halo Wars 2. And it basically said Microsoft reserves the right to sue me for all the money I will ever have if I should. <laughs> That's fucking scary, man. What was that um, old Xbox leak? Was it Warframe? No, it wasn't, it wasn't Warframe. Was it Warframe? They leaked Warframe and they played it. I forget. It was a long time ago. Halo. No, it was. um. It was back in 2008 or something. They leaked like both the games. Warframe probably not. I forget, dang it. No, it was the Xbox hackers that like got a copy and got into um... <sighs> I forget. Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I'm, it's on the tip of my tongue. I just can't remember what game it was that the hackers literally took a... Uh, a dev copy, yeah, an Xbox dev kit, and then they went online to play on the dev servers and they leaked the game. And it was like national headlines. 
be an asshole and start posting things I, I forget shouldn't. what it was. I don't get many NDAs, but I do not violate them. Unlike Dan Allen Gaming, who got caught running a sock puppet account that was leaking info on upcoming games. And he did this for clout for the th but why and then you get sued for everything you're worth like why do you know how much money these people have oh gears of war that was it gears of war that was what the leak was exactly thank you why would you risk that you would get so much trouble mm -mm -mm. thrill of it even made up leaks about Silent Hill and Metal Gear Solid. Like, come on, man. Obviously, if a content creator violates an NDA, um, it can result in severe consequences and, you know, maybe even a fucking lawsuit. I suppose he owned up to his mistakes and didn't try to hide everything, but Did he get there sued is an or aspect not? of thrill seeking when it comes to leaks. Who can be the first one to reveal something secret? Leaks can range from something as small as a keychain revealing the next Assassin's Creed game, Odyssey, or a retailer putting up unannounced games oh, for sale no. on their website. Oh, now, sometimes no. the leaker is an individual, Walmart, an outside Canada. source. Maybe a company is just careless and they make a mistake. Leaks can happen because of outdated security, malicious insiders, data mining, phishing scams, or it could just be as simple as some guy making the ballsy decision to steal 67 copies of Starfield from a warehouse and then upload that gameplay to YouTube and post a video of himself calling it a good game while smoking a blunt. Right. <laughs> Honestly, kind of pissed. He did not give a frick. He didn't give a damn, dude. Smoking a blunt saying it's a great game. He's like, Good game. Yeah. Uploads it to YouTube so that it can get sued. Like, damn. No offense, man. <laughs> That's a good he's, game. He's a little bit cooked. Today, we're going to look at some of the most notorious, infamous, and hilarious leaks in video game history to see what all we can learn from them. So okay. let's grab our wrench, tighten that bolt, and find Ow. out what happens when games get leaked. But before mm -hmm. we jump into it, check this out. My TV can bend now. This video is sponsored by oh, LG and their crap. OLED Flex TV. This is honestly the best TV I have ever had mm -hmm. or used. Mm -hmm. I genuinely feel like a fool <gasps> for not Red investing in a better soundtrack. TV sooner. If you really want to ball out and upgrade your gaming and television viewing meow, experience, meow, you need to meow, check meow, out the meow, LG OLED meow, Flex. Meow. God, I love TV, Red Dead. It can also function as a massive chonker of a monitor. With this behemoth, you wouldn't need two monitors. It's got a multi-view feature, so you could pull up YouTube and play games on the same screen. Poggers! And of course, you can curve the screen inward for an immersive Massive gaming piss. experience. Wow. The OLED Flex has a whopping Google four search. HDMI Thank you so much. and four USB ports. And the LG OLED is so advanced that its remote can function like a freaking Wii controller. Also, can we just talk about how proud we are for having a TV ad for Mr. Actman? That's pretty big, actually. Getting sponsored by LG. Most TVs have pretty That's awful strong. speakers that require a sound bar to sound decent not the oled flex this thing has a built-in speaker that genuinely sounds great now i'm no tv calibrator but even i can tell that the picture is amazing the video you're like seeing doesn't game. do it justice <laughs> best game, the flex best game. has tons of options Are for color see? grading specific Ow. modes for game optimization or cinematic modes for movies mm -hmm. so if you think about treating yourself right and upgrading your gaming and television experience, look no further than the LG OLED Flex. And if you click the link in the description and pin me, comment, LG you'll be OLED able to Flex. check it out. Thank you, LG, for sponsoring this video. And now for something completely different. I think there's no better place to start than this screenshot. <laughs> Probably gonna oh, trigger no, a core Halo memory League, in Halo yeah. fans. I'm going somewhere with this, by the way. I saw this fucking thing on YouTube in forums claiming to be a leaked image of Halo 3. And amongst the Halo fan base, this image has become something of a mystery. Turns out it's just a render in an early version of Gary's mod. And the creature is from a game called Gunman Chronicles. If you're a Halo Never fan, you may have also seen this gift before. This is from a video yeah! titled Halo 4 trailer leaked bow, gameplay bow, footage. Bow, 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 As you bow. may have noticed, uh, this is not the trailer for Halo 4. It is a ass, top tier shit post. High quality troll videos like this were extremely rare back in the day. 
There was so much clickbait on YouTube back in the 2000s, 2010s. Most of it was dog shit. Thousands of people would get suckered into clicking videos like this, hoping to see Cortana's new cheeks and being thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> I'm somewhat disappointed. And it was during this era of clickbait and fake Should have been in the game. That people became very skeptical. And that would be the perfect time for one of the most legendary leaks to be revealed. The Halo 4 VHS barn leak tape. Yes, that, that is a string of real words I just... What? Barn leak? They filmed it in a barn? What? Yeah. Halo 4 was set to release Explain. on November 6, 2012, which it did. But on May 26th, a video was posted to YouTube by the user X420 Skid... <laughs> Egg skin, eggs, bloods, dude. Smooth man, were you a leaker back in the day? What's going on, man? Bloods. <laughs> Yo, I, know, I know. But trust me, it gets better. <laughs> the video was titled Halo 4 Beta HD 720 VHS release. That's odd. VHS tapes hadn't been relevant for like nine years at this point. What do you what do you mean? Halo 4 VHS. Beta VHS release. The video was anything but HD. Whoever posted this had somehow gained access to a private build of Halo 4 six months before release. They had recorded gameplay, transferred that footage to a VHS tape, set up a CRT TV outside amidst a pile of hay, and with a video camera, they recorded real, actual leaked gameplay of Halo Wait, wait, is this because they didn't want to get found? Why a VHS? Probably because you can destroy a VHS. I think that might be why. Because if you get it like on a DVD or something like that, you have to use a computer which leaves a trace. Yeah, because the VHS is still analog. Exactly. If you burn it on a DVD and you play it, then you can be traced through like... Yeah, 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 exactly. You leave metadata metadata behind when you like even if you wipe a computer, you have to physically destroy it to like shreds. Yeah. Man, we were so much smarter than back then. I mean, it's in a barn. That's so funny. My day fucking sucked. I'm sorry, Snake. Halo 4. To any aspiring trolls watching this video right now, take some notes. You are about to learn from a master. Try your boss, maybe I try. Holy My shit! My has time for his wicked pick. Can't say next to the whole back. This Holy. video shows roughly nine minutes of Halo 4 multiplayer, revealing things like assassinations, the new battle rifle design, ordnance drops, the railgun, that Promethean vision. That is insane. Strength. That audio is so good. With the power so of hindsight, we know this is Halo 4 gameplay, but put yourself back in the shoes of someone in 2012. Amidst all these other fake leaks, you look at this one, and it looks like the fakest shit you've ever seen. And that's what's so awesome about it. You can, ba you can barely I tell what the hell you're even supposed to be looking at. It's like a parody of every fake picture of Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, every fake leak post on 4chan, all combined into one glorious shit post parody. There isn't even audio of the game itself. Just It's just a jarbled mess of... What, you want to hear more of that crap? Yeah. Have a nice day. You know what I see on my game? Of, you know my game Turn that shit off right now. It's funny to look back on old articles and forums about this because LOL? people seem Is this just a joke? as perplexed about it as we are today. This leak was so bizarre that many speculated it was an elaborate marketing stunt by 343 and Microsoft. At least people thought that until BAM! This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a dead giveaway. Yep. Although the original channel and video are long since deleted, a re-upload still exists on YouTube. Apparently, the person responsible for the Halo 4 Barn League ended up getting a job working at Microsoft as part of their security team. Who what? better to hire than the person who broke through your security? That is a good point. That actually happens a lot. You become a white hacker. Yeah. What if this copyright strike is also marking something? Nah, no, nah, no, nah, I don't. I think that's a bit far. You'd have public record of someone being sued over that if it was like, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. But I, I'm more inclined to believe a white hat. I thought it was a not white. I thought it was a white hacker. Am I mistaken? <laughs> 
White hat hacker. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being unintentionally ignorant. I'm sorry. <laughs> Due to its shit posty nature, the Halo 4 VHS barn leak didn't really White have any effect on the release ear. of Halo 4, and today it's relatively forgotten. However, it remains one of the most baffling, incredible leaks in video game history, with a story so ridiculous, it's still hard to believe. But what about a more recent leak? Everyone's talking about, uh, what, what, what's that game? Uh, GTA. Grand Auto Theft 6? Are they gonna mm. become violent just by playing Grand Auto Theft? 90 videos- <laughs> I remember this Grand Auto Theft. <laughs> yeah, black hats are the bad guys, and then they get hired sometimes to be white hats. Yeah, I just misspoke. I was being a ding dong. GTA 6 leaked online. Source code also leaked. You know, they found the kid who did uh -oh. this, so I'm just saying it. He's probably going to end up like Epstein. You know, if people keep leaking shit for GTA 6, it's just going to make it take <laughs> longer. Like, come the fuck on, man. Don't do this. Don't do this to us. Arian Curtez from Oxford, who is autistic, I swear was to a God. key member of internal gang Lapras Dollar Sign. Doctors deemed him unfit to stand trial due to his severe autism. Basager. Sorry, son. You are just too goddamn autistic. Here, stay in the hospital for the rest of your life. Damn, what? powerful. Apparently this kid uh, has been violent. Under custody, he hacked into Rockstar right after he was arrested for a previous cyber crime. He says if he is let go, he will go right back to doing more cyber crime. At least he's honest. He's not lying. They're just gonna keep him locked up if he's gonna be that honest. <laughs> I say lock his ass up or feed him to the sharks. But back in the summer of 22, Arian and one of his friends yeah, we saw a video had about a death him, yeah. wish because they leaked all the info on GTA 6. Its location, its female protagonist, the Bonnie and Clyde theme, it showed pre-alpha gameplay. They leaked everything That's they strong. found and demanded a ransom. You know, the thing I hate most about leaks like this is that we all didn't get to experience that moment of watching the reveal trailer yeah. and have that be the moment where we saw and learned all this stuff that it was that's why i argue like when people say oh it's not a big deal to like leak um i don't know like projects with streamers i'm like the whole point is the experience to add contacts to that while he was in custody he actually used an amazon fire stick and loaded linux onto it and used that as his platform what the, the kid is insanely smart what the hell is an amazon fire stick is it you shove it up your butt i don't know what that is damn it <laughs> It runs as people's enjoyment. Yeah, exactly. People care about leaked trailer. Yes, they do. It 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 incites ins excitement. I think like it's the same thing as VTuber models. You spend thousands of dollars on a model to try and promote yourself and create excitement, and if it gets leaked, it's just ruined. Boom or Lana. I don't. I don't use Alexa or Chromecast. I I think they're stupid makes it smart yeah i don't use that shit i'm plenty smart on my own i don't need no amazon fire stick to let a let a let an idea up my ass it's gonna know take what place I'm in vice city yada yada imagine if e3 were still around and they dropped this trailer there can you imagine the reactions <laughs> oh, i never went to e3 this leak allegedly Sag. cost Rockstar $5 million and $5 thousands million of hours of staff dollars. time because they had to change their entire marketing strategy over the next year. But that this wouldn't sucks. be the only major GTA 6 leak. In what is probably one of the most baffling leaks ever, a random TikTok account emerged and started sharing short clips oh, and screenshots no. from GTA 6. And to prove their legitimacy, they also shared this photo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Aaron Garbutt, head of development at Rockstar North, who has Garbutt. been with the company for 27 years. Oh, now, it is no. possible that this account is simply posing as the son or friend or whatever of Aaron. But if not, and if I'm Aaron, that kid's going to live like fucking Harry Potter at the Dursleys until he moves out. Oh, he licked his dad's job. I think I heard about this story. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think it's hilarious the idea that your son just 
put your job in jeopardy for fucking TikTok clout. As sad as that is, I do think that's funny. Rockstar just can't catch a break when it comes to leaks. True. The day before the trailer was supposed to come out, someone leaked it on Twitter and what an appropriate username. They did it to promote <laughs> GTA Bitcoin. 6 trailer. That's, that's kind of that's gay, but hey. And this text you see was on screen for the entire trailer. I guess everything worked out because Rockstar posted the official trailer like 30 minutes after this Twitter post. It got you know, a couple million views, no big deal. Oh, but unlike the last of us two, the leaks around GTA 6 don't seem to be creating any huge negative reaction from fans. If anything, people seem to be sympathizing with Rockstar and giving them even more support. For now, the leaks don't seem to be having any major consequences. The same cannot Find be said the for coin, the remember? Insomniac leak. In this day and age, it's extremely oh, I've seen difficult this as well. to keep things secret when it comes to video games and new releases. It's become harder and harder for developers to surprise us in a way that's natural. Like, imagine if StarCraft 2 had been leaked before it was revealed and we never got this glorious moment in Korea. <laughs> Twenty twenty three. They leaked. Um, they leaked the Wrath of the Lich King uh, announcement as well, and that kind of ruined the hype at BlizzCon a couple of days before BlizzCon happened. Yeah, the same thing happened. People are still really hyped, but still. It was a wild year for leaks. Microsoft had a huge list of upcoming games revealed. Yeah, this ruined it for me. Fallout 3 remastered, like stuff like that. It's just like, dude, I wanted to find out myself. I would have been so pog or hyper, but. But the Insomniac mm. fiasco is really terrible. On December 12th, the hacker known as 4chan, I, I mean, the ransomware group known <laughs> as Rysita announced that it had stolen 1.63 terabytes of data from Insomniac. Seen, yeah. And they were auctioning yeah, it yeah. off for 50 bitcoins we what saw the this fucking bitcoins man when nobody bought it naturally they posted it online for all to see and this is one of the more malicious hacks and leaks it does mm -hmm. irreparable damage to insomniac and their upcoming projects i think it revealed like a 10-year release plan they had uh, these files showed everything yep. you can think of pre-alpha gameplay internal design documents yeah. employee information many have called the insomniac leak unprecedented and I'd agree. A lot of leaks are focused on revealing stuff with the goal of exciting people. It's still illegal, but this is an example of a leak focused on hurting people. Done for the oldest reason in the world. Money. <laughs> they didn't take the BTC, the cock and ball torture rape uh, for, for fucking uh, ransom. Money. But we yeah. Just need money. But let's lighten money. the mood. In 2007, the world was amped for the upcoming release of Halo 3, and Microsoft sent out pre-release versions dubbed the Epsilon build pre for testing. At this point, Halo Sheesh. 3 was 99.9% .9 complete, but three weeks before release, a 17-year-old who went by the gamer tag Scar somehow obtained the Epsilon version of the game and was able to play it for six hours. Uh -oh. Microsoft caught wind of this and laid the fucking banhammer down on his face scars xbox live account was banned for 9972 years until the year 10,000. man, Pog, really just man. Said, <laughs> imagine you time travel just to get your xbox account unbanned <laughs> wake me when you need this screenshot <laughs> must have been one of the funniest things to wake up to it's like when criminals get 10 life sentences plus 50 years or whatever. He just doesn't an mean anything. Punishment. But how did he get caught? Well, he kept his status online so everyone could see he was playing Halo 3 before it even came out. What a dumbass. I did not know that. Scar's account had 60,000 gamer score. That is a heavy price paid, but. Imagine the clout you'd have Online the next day in playing, uh, GTA Scar didn't 6. Thankfully, Sergeant seemed interested in leaking Halo 3 to the public. If he did, he might have faced a much more harsh punishment than losing his account and his console. There were several other leaks around Halo 3, but the absurdity of Microsoft's reaction to this one made it hilarious. There's so many examples we could dive into. I mean, Gears of War 3, yeah, Doom this one. 3, the French version of Halo 2 being released <laughs> a month early. <laughs> Oh no no 
phone and we must leak the footage. Smash Bros 4 roster being completely leaked. But if I don't finish this video soon, then it'll get leaked. Amidst all of the more famous leaks, Half-Life 2 is definitely one of the more interesting. Valve was already behind on their deadlines trying to make Half-Life 2 the perfect sequel it would eventually become. But on September 19th, the source code for Half-Life 2 was posted online along with a playable version of the game. No! Gabe realized he and his team had been compromised. This was one of, if not the darkest days in Valve's history. I had people in the company coming to me and saying, you know, are we gonna go out of business? You know, Aww. what does this mean? Uh, are we ever gonna ship Half-Life 2 now? Gabe had heard oh. over 4 million people had accessed the source code. That, that could translate so to 4 million fewer copies of the game getting sold. In desperation, he turned to his community, telling them the truth. Despite delaying Half-Life 2 and upsetting the community before, they had Valve's back. They understood and did all they could to track down any leads. Despite their help and that of the FBI, months passed without any info on who was responsible. Valve what was demoralized. Dick, Development had slowed down even further and all looked hopeless until Gabe Newell received an unusual email. A German teenager named Axel Gembe claimed responsibility, showing proof, and said he was remorseful. In truth, I've wait. Let me read the. What does it say? I'm very sorry. Showing. I'm very sorry about what happened with Half Life Tonics. Really, things. I was in your network for six months, watching your development process was very interesting. Yes, I am the hacker. No, I didn't distribute. Beginning of September, I was on something exchanging some thumb. Aww, that's sad. Now he's remorseful. He made Gabe cry. Proof and said he was remorseful. In truth, he idolized Gabe Newell and Valve so much that he asked Gabe for a job. And this <gasps> is when our boy Gabe played him like a fiddle. They set up a phone interview with the goal of getting Gembe to admit his crimes, and they were gonna fly him to Seattle where the FBI would arrest him. <laughs> That's how you know he was pissed. He made Gabe Newell cry. He's gonna frick him in the butt. Ain't no way you leak that and then get away with it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But the Based. German police got to him first. Gembe said he had taken the source code and shared it with the friend and that friend had posted it online. It's anyone's guess whether or not this is true, but Valve obviously doesn't have the best record when it comes to meeting their deadlines, and hardcore fans like Axel were hungry for details and willing to go to extreme lengths to satiate their appetite. Because Axel was fully compliant, expressed remorse, turned himself in, told the police officers everything without a lawyer present, he was able to get off easy and was sentenced to only two years probation. While it's unfortunate that the source code did get posted publicly, it seems that Axel was motivated by his love for Half-Life and not something more sinister. Luckily True. for everyone, Half-Life 2 went on to be a major commercial and critical success, and the first code leak two. didn't seem to derail that success at all. Finally, we arrive at what some would describe the biggest leak in video game history. What is it? The Last of Us 2. The first mm. title was a landmark for video games. The fact that I never played The Last of Us, but I still heard about this and I heard how people were upset about it is really, really telling. Even people like me, I, I did not care for this franchise at all. I just knew about it. It took storytelling and presentation to a whole new level back in 2013. So expectations were high for one is good. Two sequel. For a lot of people, it was their most anticipated game release. So naturally, people craved information about it. On April 6, 2020, some huge plot points were spoiled and posted. Uh, I'm the immediate family member of someone working at Naughty Dog with The Last of Us, as you know, will be Ellie centered. Uh, just a bit da, da, da. Love Triangle of Swords, Asians, it was bisexual, was a hammer history. From PlayStation's gestures, Ellie begins to question if they really loves Ellie. Damn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all true, at least to some extent. Posted on 4chan. Many of them turned out to be accurate, but this could have easily been looked at as just another fake leak. That is, until April 27th, when the mother of all leaks was oh, posted shit. over an hour of gameplay and cutscenes, 
were posted to YouTube, confirming Ooh, much ah, of what the 4chan leak had Kong. said. Bum, bum, With spoilers bum, bum. so massive and, and crazy, it was impossible to avoid them online. Hackers revealed jaw-dropping twists that left the community very divided. I found Fuck one comment this on this reset era thread that said, isn't it a little ironic? I've been, I've been annoyed by games all my life, but I've never gone on Reddit and posted about how much I hate a game. I'm not going to lie. I've debated people on stuff, but never like, fuck this game, this is the worst thing ever. I fucked it. I hate Blizzard so much. I've never done that. Can't relate. Ironic Can't. to have a game with a very transparent theme about the cycle of revenge ultimately be sabotaged in what seems like an act of vengeance. The official story trailer also seemed to indirectly confirm what was shown in the leaks. Of course, the copyright claims validate that too. But to this day, comments and likes are still disabled on the story trailer. Sony's response to the leaks was to change the release date to June 19th after previously delaying it and recently delaying it indefinitely because of COVID. Well, they've seen the game already. Fuck it. It's too late to change anything. The cat was mm. out of the bag on the story, but one big question remained. Who? Who could have done this? We never found out. I mean, Sony said they knew who posted these leaks and confirmed it wasn't anyone's associated with Naughty Dog or Sony, but we don't know who they are. Naughty Dog had been dealing with Crunch, and there were theories of a disgruntled employee taking revenge. But I guess that's just a theory. A, a game, game thi Oh. The repercussions oh, yeah, for this leak right, were left. arguably more severe than any other game leak. Now, it's one thing to kill off a major character that everybody loves in a somewhat controversial way, but to learn about that through a leak and not the media itself, yeah. it has to taint your perception of the media in some way, right? Spoiling something people have been looking forward to for a very long time will no doubt leave a bad taste in their mouth. But that taste seems to have persisted through the game's launch and even today. Maybe people would have responded the same way even if it hadn't been spoiled. You'll and never seems know, to have man. Loved Half -Blood You'll Prince. never know. Say what you will about the story, the characters, and all that. I think we can all agree that for the developers working hard on this game, on this vision, whether it's a vision you agree with, this really sucks balls. I mean, sure, we, we got some fantastic memes out of it. But it's <laughs> oh, shit balls! Sucks balls. I mean, sure, we, we got some fantastic memes. I follow them on Twitter. <laughs> shit posts is posts, man. Out of it. But it's unfortunate that it's Naughty so Dog good. didn't get to show their game and their story to the world in the way that they wanted to. There was yeah, a huge sucks. divide between audience and critic reviews. Maybe those critics felt more sympathy for Naughty Dog's situation. No, not you. It's the a game different guy. I follow him on, on Twitter. No doubt caused by the plot leaks. But the true mastermind behind this, their identity and what punishments they may have faced are still a mystery. Was it an act of vengeance, elaborate sabotage, or something else? We may never find out. In the end, there's a million things that can happen when games get leaked. It's really hard to predict. Sometimes nothing happens. Occasionally- Well, you can't, like, you'll never know if people would have received it differently. I'm of the perception it would have alleviated it a little bit more if it wasn't leaked directly. If people played the game and it came out gradually, the backlash isn't as severe. Personally, it increases hype around a game. Some people leak games because they're mm. passionate fans. Other I times they're part leaking. of a criminal cyber hacking organization. <laughs> they can be a misguided YouTuber, a clout chasing son of a developer, Cringe. a masterful <laughs> troll. Whatever the case, video game leaks can be extremely damaging to the morale of developers and the success of their product. I think this is why there's such strict punishments for violating NDAs. It's impossible to determine what damage might occur. And while we the consumers might benefit from this secret knowledge, it might be exciting to know things before they're eh, revealed. It's no. important to remember that all knowledge comes at a price. Yeah. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe yeah. to the Yank Man for more awesome content. Don't leaked. try to download my leaked OnlyFans content because you pay me? for my real OnlyFans, the one Excuse that doesn't me? exist. Only fans? All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. This is the Act Man signing out. Mm -hmm. Peace. Ba 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 ba. Link, huh, huh, huh? Good video, yes, yeah, shit. <laughs>
We have we act man. Me shit. Everyone clap jerseys. Mommy. Piss piss piss. Shit. Piss 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 piss. piss. <laughs> fuck 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 fuck. Fuck oh, the fucking shit on. Calm piss myself. Fuck 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 fuck. Piss my piss 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 piss